you go on Tesla's website and you try to buy a Tesla, they'll be like, which model do you want? And then it's gonna say, if you go with the Tesla X, because my wife likes Tesla X, so we look at these things all the time, you go in and it says, it's like 853 US dollars uh, to buy the stock version. And then you go and you click and you choose your color, which some colors are more expensive than others. And then you, by the time you're all said and done, you've spent $2,500 a month. So ClickFunnels com commission is not gonna pay, well, the commissions will, but the $1,000 a month isn't gonna pay for it. Uh, pay for the base model. So at least I got that covered. Um, cool, that joke landed. All right, so if you go into their thing, now, if you bought a Tesla, and then six months later, they came out with a new functionality, did you know that you can swap that functionality out? You can actually do it with any car. You can go into the dealership, and you can say, hey, I just found out you came out with this new technology. I want you to swap it out for me. Most dealerships will charge you an arm and a leg to do it, but you can still do it. Same thing with an engine. It's just a part. They just pull out the part and put in the new part. The thing is, is Tesla does a brilliant job at this, because if you go down their site, every single one of those products was launched to their current audience. So in the last launch, they launched a, the Tesla, what, three, thank you, Tesla three, and it was the largest launch from a revenue standpoint. It was not the largest launch from an actual received money standpoint. Um, but it was a, it was a 13.7 billion or 13.4 every, there's different stats on the, online. But they did an awesome job of taking all of the old parts that they had so that they could get rid of them and they could sell you a much cheaper version of the Tesla. Just a, a little inside secret is that you can take your old products and programs and you can bundle them together to launch something new. So don't try to, you don't need to feel like you got to, come out with a whole new slew of things. You can take 90% of the products that you have, take 10%, innovate on that 10% or 80-20 even, take 80% of what you already have, innovate a little bit on it. That way you can actually create something new with it, sell it to the people who haven't bought yet and uh, upgrade the people who have bought because there's still a new component to what you're offering. So first of all, um, the whole thing, build it and they will come? No, no, okay. So you need traffic, right? You gotta have traffic, once you have the traffic. Now, how many of you think you have to have traffic and then have a product and then sell it? Raise of hands, how many people believe that? Uh, I've gone through this whole presentation, so I'm glad that nobody's raising their hand yet. So you have traffic, you can put up a pre-sale landing page to attract leads. That will be your determiner as to if it's going to be successful. If you literally, like, you, you, you create a new landing page and then you say, hey guys, I'm thinking of doing this, let me know if you're interested, and then you have a landing page out, and you get like a 30 to 60% opt-in right off the bat, it's probably a really good idea. If you get like a 20 to 30%, maybe anything under 20%, um, give it away for free if, you're going, if you've already built it because that's a better lead magnet than anything.